Also, for a while, I was dating a girl that lived in my apartment building. Uh, I liked her more than she liked me. Uh, she, uh, she was young, though. She was too young. She's 10 years younger than me. She was into horoscopes. Yeah. Horse, that's for young people, right? Like, you're young, now's the time, horoscopes. I'm just saying, you never hear successful people reference them. <laughs> right? No one's like, listen, I know that I am a doctor, but I am also an Aries. <laughs> and we make quick decisions. And that's why I amputated your wrong foot. <laughs> But I knew you would overact because you are a Scorpio and that's what Scorpios do. <laughs> I don't know. Have you, have you guys been to New York City? A round of applause, some of you? Yeah. <laughs> but the, the cool thing about New York City, like especially if you're on a budget, the museums are either half price or free on Fridays. So me and this girl, we went, we went to the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, it's fantastic, it's amazing. I don't know that much about art, but it's all these amazing paintings. And then I saw the three paintings that I thought were the best, and I was excited. I go over and I recognize the name, Picasso, which got me excited, because I, I heard of this dude, like I know who this dude is, which is impressive to me, because I only know the name of like eight artists, and four of them are Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I mean, I know Rembrandt too, but if he was so great, eh, he wouldn't have to sell toothpaste. <laughs> but these were the best. I was like, I'm like, these paintings are great. And she's like, let's go check out some others. I'm like, I'm just gonna hang here with the, the Picassos. And uh, she's like, well, which one's your favorite? And I go, I don't know. The texture on this one feels different than the two over here. <laughs> And she's like, what are you talking about? And then I took her hand to try to show her, and she freaked out, which is what you should do if someone tries to get you to touch a priceless painting. <laughs> like, I know, you can't touch them. I know that now. I wouldn't go back in time and touch them, but uh, I did. Uh, to make an example out of me, she asked a security guard. She goes, hey, what happens if you touch a painting? The guy goes, oh, you go to jail. We have surveillance cameras. Why? Did you see something? I was like, all right, we should go back to Planet Hollywood. <laughs> And yes, I'm, I get it now. If I was there, I would never touch another painting. I know that now. And I was talking about this in uh, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania at a show. And some guy with like five teeth <laughs> after the show comes up and he's like, hey man, I thought I was white trash, but then you're out there touching all those Picassos. <laughs> and, and, and you know what's a shame? Uh, I hate to admit this. I do think it's pretty cool I touched three Picassos. I, <laughs> I do, I can't take it back. I mean, I wouldn't do it again, but I, I, I don't know. Does that make me white trash? I don't, I don't know, I went to one WrestleMania, I saw Leonard Skinner twice, and I touched three Picassos. Uh, that might be the triple crown of white trash right there. I don't...